Hi everyone, starting my video out here at the pool again today. We have had nothing but rainy days for the last several and today it is blustery <laughs> out here. I am recording this on Friday afternoon. You guys probably won't see this till Saturday or Sunday, honestly. But I thought I would go ahead and get it in the can because it's gonna be a lot in this video. First of all, I wanted to show you these beautiful hibiscuses that Chris purchased. Look at these, aren't they pretty? I just love them. And then look at the red ones. So, so pretty. And then he got some Gerber daisies, which as you all know, are my favorite flower. And check these out, these are pretty. So he is getting ready to do some planting out here for sure. It's gonna be beautiful. And then this is jasmine. That is what that is, jasmine. So it's gonna be super pretty. And then those are the new chairs. Remember I told you I would show you the new chairs? There they are, go over there. And these are nicer than the other two chairs which are over there that we got. Uh, both from Amazon, but these are much, much nicer. And I would put these in the same Amazon box that I put the, I think I did a new pool accents or something like that box in my Amazon shop. So I will definitely put these in. These are much sturdier. They sit up a little higher and they do adjust like the other ones, but these are much nicer. So I like these more, of course they're more expensive, but I like these much better. Anyway, I'm getting blown to bits out here. My hair's in my mouth. <laughs> so I changed my flag out here and Chris pruned down the camellia. Look how pretty that looks now. And he put mulch in this little flower bed and he put the little green uh, solar flower out here in this flower bed. And things are just starting, and then you can see the pollen. The pollen, the oak, oak thistles are everywhere. Ugh. So, but anyway, he's gonna pull it all together out here, you guys. I Trust me, it's gonna be gorgeous. But anyway, I'm gonna go in and get set up at my island, and we're gonna do a big fat haul. <laughs> be right back. Hi everyone, here I am sitting here at my island, getting ready to do a big haul for you guys. Oh my goodness, I have been collecting stuff uh, for several, for about a week now, for about a week. This and that and the other thing, and it is a hodgepodge of items, let me tell you. Uh, but anyway, I just walked in from outside. I am, a, you know, it is windy and crazy out there right now. But let me go into what I'm, where I'm going to haul from uh, today. And when I edit, I may try to write up like in the corner and say, this is from Amazon and this is from the next place and the next place and the next place. So uh, the florals that you the flowers that you just saw out there were from Lowe's and the chairs, as I mentioned, were from Amazon. So we're gonna start with Amazon, then Bed Bath & Beyond, then Joann's, then Timu, just one thing from Timu, Vera Bradley Outlet, uh, and then a beautiful gift from Jeannie. This is one thing that I wanna show you from Vera that I'll get back to, these readers. Uh, these are so cute and I will get back to these. All that, well, Candace has a pair of glasses. I see so many with just the clear frames like this. So I wanted to try them and I think they look kinda of cute. What do y'all think? I think they're cute. I usually like my tortoiseshell, which they're cute too, but, and those are like the, these are not, but those that I always wear are like the graduated kind so I can look up at the, I can wear them if I'm watching TV or my computer or if I'm doing close up work with you know something in my hand. But these are not, these are not transitional or whatever they're called. Um, but these are just regular readers and I think they're cute. I like them. You can see the florals. I'll show you closer up when we get there. But anyway, let's get started. I can't sit around here and yammer too much just at the beginning because I've got a lot to show you. 
So I also have a little something to show you that my dad gave me, uh, something that I had never noticed in their house, but, and I saw it on a shelf. I said, dad, where did you get this? And he goes, I have no idea. Your mom got that and I don't know where it is and take it home. I was like, well, dad, no, I don't want to mess with your decorations. He says, here, and he took something from one shelf. He gave, handed this little thing to me and he put something on the other shelf. There, he said, it's redecorated. Take this with you. <laughs> So anyway, all right, let's get started. We're gonna start with Amazon, like I said. And I wanna start with this cute little Lily Pulitzer bag. Isn't that pretty? And this was, you know, just, this is gonna go in my travel box. I found this time when we traveled that I really enjoyed within my big makeup bag, I really enjoyed having a little bag like this that I could put my, uh, my brushes in, my brushes and like my eyeliner and uh, my eyebrow pencil, anything that was longer, I found that it was, I could find it much easier when I went to do my makeup, when I just had all of that stuff just in this one little bag within my big makeup bag. So I thought I would just get this. I do have a couple of Vera bags that will work too, but I, was, I saw this in passing uh, one time and I just thought it was so pretty, Lily Pulitzer. And it wasn't that expensive, y'all, at all, but it's pretty. So I got that. Then, uh, while we're talking makeup and stuff, I did pick up, as I showed you, uh, when I did my Get Ready With Me, I used this texture spray from Redken. So I got me a new bottle of that, because I'm almost out of that. And then I got myself another little um, bottle of this big, or tube, I guess just to say of this big blowout. And this is a heat protector too, which as I explained, especially for those of us with colored hair, having a heat protector on your hair is super important. So I got both of these. And these are already in my little Amazon, my new Amazon uh, hair and makeup box in my Amazon shop. So there we go. I'll try to give you an external link for that. And all that will go in there. So I got those two things. I was running low, you know. And then uh, I went ahead and got two pairs of my jean jeggings. Uh, and they are extra, extra large longs. And even though they are a smidge big on me, I seem to be staying in this side because of the old hipperoonies, you know. So I these were 10 bucks when I bought them. And in my size, they were out of so many. Of the jean, of the Jagans, uh, the knit Jagans. These are uh, Amazon Essentials, and they do have a stretch to them. And these are my absolute favorite. So I went ahead and got two more because they were only ten dollars. So I spent twenty bucks for both of these pairs. So I and then I haven't opened this yet, uh, but I got myself. Oh, I didn't bring over a. Uh, oh wait, I can. Oh look at this. It's like in a vacuum bag. This is a tank top in white, y'all. And I wanna try to wear this, and this I believe, yeah, it's an extra large. So I got me an extra large, and it's kind of we'll like We'll see, a, that would've looked pretty with this, as a matter of fact, wouldn't it, you know? Wouldn't have been bad with this. But I got me a white little tank top to wear under some of my outfits. So I got that, then, So then I got myself two uh, t-shirts, Amazon Essential V-neck t-shirts that I can layer, you know, underneath all my kimonos and whatnot. I got a black one and I got a white one. So we will see. These are lovely. They are V-neck. So I did get these in extra, extra large uh, because of the girls, because I need the extra room with the girls. So black and white. So, and Amazon Essentials. Can't go wrong. Okay, next I got a couple of strands of, or like bead garlands. And this is gonna go in my, you know, my tray that I'm gonna put out on the big table, out on the, out on the patio. And I will be sure to show you what else I'm gonna put in that tray here in this haul. But I got this. And then as I was looking through the other color choices, they did have them in blue too, in, a, in a, like a dark blue. So just for, you know, future use, I got this too. 
So, you know, I've been using, I've been using these wooden beads here and there. I really like the big chunky ones, but I didn't, they didn't have them in this color. And then I saw these, so I got these and I saw these. I thought, well, I'm going to get those two. So cute, cute, cute wooden beads. So love those. And I'm fixing to change out my mailbox cover and my mailbox flowers. And I'm going to put up a bow that I already have made. I found in a bin downstairs that I already have made. And I purchased this cover for my mailbox. Is that pretty with the butterflies? I just love that. I think that's so pretty. And the bow that I have has, is yellow with yellow butterflies on it. And I already had a bunch of flowers here at the house that I'm going to use for out there. So I'm getting ready to do that. I'll show you that what we do with that next week. And so that, I only have a few more things from Amazon. And one of which is this little green pot. Chris is going to make me up well, he's gonna put this little Gerber daisy in this pot. He's gonna, you know, plant it in this little pot. And I'm gonna use this for my tray design along with this and a couple other things that I'm fixing to show you. So I got, he got this pot and he's been getting tons and tons and tons of pots for out in his flower beds and everything. He's, but I did get these citronella candles I got, this came with a set of, in a set of three, and we have citronella candles burning out there at all times. It came really prettily boxed in a nice box, and this is three citronella candles like this. And this is a, a um, metal container. I don't know whether I can get it open. Oh, I love the smell. And it's, there are three wick citronella candles. It does tell you not to burn them any more than two hours because the container can get real hot. So, but anyway, I thought I would put one of these on this tray as well. And then one on either side of the tray design on the table. So I'll have one on either side, one in the tray, and then this and something, the beads and something else I'm going to show you here in a little while. So I love these and these were, you know, pretty reasonably priced on Amazon. I love them. Okay. So I think that does it for my Amazon haul. <laughs> that was a lot just from Amazon. Okie dokie. Next, let me talk about Bed Bath & Beyond. I happened to see that they were having a sale at Bed Bath & Beyond. Well, our brick and mortar store closed several months ago, but you still can order online and they do offer you lots of coupons and things like that. So I decided I have been wanting to get a new comforter or quilt or something like that for the purple bedroom. That bedding I have on that bed is literally two decades old, you guys. Now, realize that, you know, we don't get that much company and pretty much the only people that ever use that, my mom was still alive and she was underneath that comforter many times. And then my dad, we brought that from our other house. And uh, so that's what I, that comforter is what I decorated that whole room around, but I am just like, I am so tired of looking at it. I want something new. I want something a little bit lighter and airier and fresher up there. So I found this pretty little quilt. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. And I don't know yet. I haven't taken it upstairs. I, the, the big Euro shams that I have up there very well might match the darker portion of this. If not, I might order myself some lavender shams, but this came with the, this is the queen size quilt and then two pillow shams, standard size pillow shams. So I just thought this was so pretty. Look at that. And I think I'm gonna love this. And that's where I'm putting Stacy when she comes so that she has her own, you know, ensuite bathroom up there. So I love this. I think it's super pretty and it's a change up there, you know? My goodness, it's been forever since I've gotten new bedding for up there. So I love it. I got that. And that's the other thing I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> okay, now, Joann's. I went to Joann's on our way to Dad's the other day. So I walked in there and they everything was on sale. I will say, you know, they're closing the Joann's. They're going bankrupt so everything was at the very least 50%, 25% or 50% off in there. I didn't see the 70% off stand, but I didn't look around all that long. 
but anyway, I just picked up some random things. One of one random thing was this big old bucket of chalk, uh, like sidewalk chalk uh, that I know Maverick and actually Candace, who loves to draw. Candace is a superb artist, and I know that she can make some really cool like dinosaur creations or whatever and let him help her color them or let him practice writing his name or drawing pictures or whatever out here on the driveway. Or if they, she wants to take it to her place, she could take it to her place. So I love this. I always had this for our kids too when they were little and they always had a blast playing with this. So I got some, some sidewalk chalk. Then... What is summertime without bubbles, right? So I got him three containers of bubbles and they have a big fat wand on them so he can just, you know, uh, walk around and, and make some really cool bubbles. So I just got him three containers of bubbles. I'm always thinking about Maverick whenever we're out and about, you know. And so I got him those. And the rest of this is kind of decor related stuff so they had these candles which i thought were really neat blue and white taper candles these are 10 inch yep 10 inch taper candles in blue and white which they were kind of pretty so i picked up one of those and these were kind of neat look how they're shaped they're kind of a spiral and the top of them is kind of skinny look at that and then it fattens up as you go down and blue and white. So I thought they were kind of cool. These are unscented. So I got those. And then I got just a set of four of kind of this ribbed variety of, oh, what are these, six inch? Yeah, 5.9 inch, six inch candles. So just got those. Whew, that's exciting, isn't it? All these candles. <laughs> I use a lot of candles. I use a lot of candles in my decorating. Uh, then, if you guys remember some of the uh, foliage that Stacy put in her centerpiece, in that conch shell centerpiece, well, I found some. And I just think this stuff is so pretty, you guys. So I got three tufts of this. And this can go outside, and this may go on my tray uh, to decorate, the, you know, with this one last thing I'm going to show you. Uh, and the citronella candle, and the beads, and the plant, you know. So I may put some of these on there, and then I did get some of these. Liz, I know you love these, these spider mums. Look at these in cream. Liz just used some of these the yellow ones in her last video. Well, the last video I saw, uh, by the time you see this, she will have put up another video on Friday, I feel sure. Uh, but I'm doing this, as I said, on Friday. So, but she used some of these in her Wednesday video of this week. And I think hers were yellow and they were stunning the way she used them. So, uh, everybody, Stacy and Liz and I have all fallen in love with these spider mums. I love them. And all of their foliage was 50% off, I believe. So, then the last thing I got was this little solar lantern. And I thought that was so cute. So, and then you can see the solar on the top, solar panel on the top, and it has like an Edison bulb inside of it. And I'm trying to talk, this was $40 to begin with, but it was 50% off, so it was $20 for this. I'm trying, I'm trying to talk Chris into letting me hang Edison, bulb, Edison bulbs out there somewhere on the patio and he has not given in yet. He's like, I don't want Edison bulbs out there, Arlen. What in the world are you thinking? And I was like, well, I like, I like Edison bulbs. I think that they'd be cute out there. So anyway, if y'all remember this tray, so we are going, this is what I'm going to be using for this. And the, where did I put the plant is over there and the plant and then the citronella candle. And, you know, we'll see if the beads and some of this will fit in too as well, but I think it'll be super pretty. I love it. So, and then the Gerber Daisy will match, of course. So anyway, that is all I got from Joann's. That was enough. That was all of that was $70. All of that was $70. Okie dokie. Uh, next up is just one little thing from Timu. 
And I, let me preface this. I want to explain something to you first before I move and before I show you this. When we were on the Holland America ship, I saw this beautiful puffy cream purse. I am loving all of the creams nowadays, all the monot you know, all the monochromatic things. I, I love. It was a beautiful, beautiful big puffy bag. The thing cost. I think it was like $500 or some ridiculous amount on sale for like $350. And I'm like, I said, Chris, and he goes, well, now, honey, if you, and I said, don't even go there. Don't even go there. I don't even say if you want it, we can get it. No, 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 no. It's a purse. I've got 50, you know, but it was really pretty and I really liked it. So as I was just zipping through Timu one day, I saw this little quilted puffy bag and this is it, this is just a little crossbody bag or or just shoulder shoulder bag you know uh but i just thought this was so pretty it has like a chain and uh leatherette i'm sure it's not real leather uh strap on it and you can pull it through and use it just put it on your arm like that or put it up on your shoulder like that i could do that couldn't have done that 90 pounds ago, y'all. Or pull it, you know, and just wear it on your shoulder like that, or as a crossbody. But isn't this cute? It has a little pocket on the back. It's got a little latch opening. And then inside, it's got a little zipper on the top. And then inside, it's just, you know, is there? it does have a zipper on the back of it, but it's just you know, big enough for a cell phone, maybe a little tiny wallet just with your money and a credit card in it, you know. And I just thought it was so pretty, just for a, a little, a sweet little purse to take with you. Put your keys, your wallet, and your your reading glasses and your phone in it. And that would be about all you could fit in this. But I just thought it was so pretty. Yep, so I got that from Timu. That's the only thing I got from Timu. Uh, the only other thing uh, purchases I made were from Vera Bradley, but I got a text one day that they were having an, an outlet sale. So I went in and I made some purchases and I'll show you what I bought. And most of this stuff is to do with my traveling, you know, uh, this is what I put my suntan lotion in, you know, this is called a lotion bag and it is so cute. And when you close it and it just especially on our cruises. This is just perfect for me because I just take my suntan lotion and this, the towels are already available at, on the pool deck. And this, this just sticks in my little basket on my scooter or obviously it's very easily carried. Uh, and so I got this, love it, little lotion bag. Then I got just this tiny little, <laughs> it's got a, what are these called? Cantilever or, uh, can, oh, I can't remember what these, these little hooks are called that I could hook onto my backpack or whatever. And what this is designed to hold are your ear, ear pods. So that's why I got that to put my ear pods in because I always use my ear pods when I'm on a plane for either my books on tape or listening to music or whatever, you know. So they fit perfectly in this little bag. So I got that and this, this stuff was cheap. I mean, you guys, it was like, I don't remember how much it was, to be honest with you, but it was not expensive at all. Then I got this little bag just because for no other reason other than I just thought, think it's really cute. Uh, and it is just a little kind of a straw feeling bag with a little shell on the front there. And uh, pretty on the inside. Vera always does such a good job with their stuff, you guys. And I really don't buy too much as far as purses, although I'm fixing to show you a purse. <laughs> but I just love it. And on Holland America ships, which we cruise sometimes, uh, this is designed like to put your license in or whatever and put this, use this as your purse. I could usually, I could put it in this little purse, couldn't I? Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I would want to get something cream. Because I'm picky like that. But, uh, the, the you know, Princess uses their medallions, whereas Holland America still uses a cruise card. So this would be cute to just to put your cruise card in if you need to show it to a waiter or whatever. It has a little sleeve in there that you just, you just put your card in there or license or whatever. So I just thought it was cute. I got that. 
Anyway, I got one more little ear pods bag, but this one holds two, I believe, or it's designed to hold two and maybe the cord that goes with them to charge them, you know? So this is really cute. So I got this too. And then I got uh, this little straw purse, which I thought was adorable, this little crossbody bag. And I don't, again, I don't really buy Vera purses like the florally ones like this anymore, but I thought this was super cute for summer. And it doesn't look like your typical Vera, you know, bag. And this is a crossbody bag and it is so cute and it is adjustable. The strap is adjustable. And then you have an outside pocket. Look at the mamingos in there, as Maverick would say. <laughs> and then it has two uh, zipper. It has a zipper in the back there. It has one zipper compartment and then another zipper compartment. And super, super cute bag. I already have a wallet, a light blue wallet that would match with this. Super cute leather strap. Really nice, really nice little bag. So, got that from the Vera outlet. Then I got, this is another thing, when Chris and I uh, drove down to Fort Lauderdale, we had a cooler in the back, which is about 500 years old. I'm not even kidding you. And so I got myself a little cooler bag. This is a cooler bag. This would also work out at the pool just to throw some sodas in or waters, you know, and to keep them cooler out there. Easily carried. It's got two nice straps and it's got a nice pocket on the back. Not one back there, but anyway, I thought this was super nice. Not expensive again at all. A cooler bag. Love that. Then I got two more things, only two more things. And these I got for Maverick, I have to say, because he loves his mamingos, you know. So I cannot remember if these were specifically oversized or not. They have oversized and then they have regular size. Well, Maverick doesn't need oversized. I do, but he doesn't. So I got him two mamingo towels. Aren't they cute? They are so cute. So... And even just a regular size towel, these are a really nice, 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 nice size. So, love this. And I got him, I got two. So, that was it. That's my entire haul, you guys. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. Uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, right? But, phew, it was a lot. Uh, oh, and then these glasses. I remember I told you about these glasses. They came in this pretty little case. And then, and then look at the sides. They're so pretty. So, and I like them. I like the clear, something different, you know? I like them. Okay, now I wanted to show you this gift that Jeannie sent me. As I explained in my car chit chat, Jeannie is the one that get, got me that red truck, that beautiful red truck. And she wrote me a private message on Facebook and she said, Arlen, I just want to let you know, I've sent you three things that should be coming from Amazon to you. And I was like, oh my goodness, Jeannie. And she said, I just want to get you something just for you, just for you. And I am telling you, I was blown away when this beautiful, when these pieces came. Let me tell you. First of all, let me show you this. This is a backpack, and as you all know, goodness knows, I travel a lot, and we do a lot of day trips and whatnot, and I'm sure I will get good use out of this. This kind of has a hinged top, look at that. It's got a hinged top, and then it's got a pocket right here in the front. It goes all the way down, and then this unzips, and look at that, it's got two more pockets in here, and then a mesh pocket up front here. And then it's got another pocket, your cell phone or whatever, right there in the front. And then this is a computer bag, so it'll hold my laptop back here up to a 15.7 inch laptop. 
And then it also has more, another pocket right here that you could put an iPad or something like that. And then on the other side, it's got more, oh my goodness, so many pockets. A couple more pockets on this, on either side, and then these are for pens right here. And the straps are padded, look at the straps, and adjustable. And the, the handle snaps together for safety, if you just wanna carry it like that. Then on the side, look here, it has another zipper that you can slip your cell phone in or, or your wallet or your passport and traveling so it's up against you. Look at this, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the colors are stunning. I love the blue and the cream. I just love it. I love this bag. So this was one thing, I am not near done. This was one thing. And then next she got me this beautiful Bostonian, this is like one of those sling uh, bags that you, you know, kind of wear as a, as a crossbody, but you can adjust it to be uh, smaller. Or, you know, a lot of ladies wear them like right up here, you know, or right down at their waist a little bit, you know. Get up. You know, or right down at their waist. And I feel super safe with this, and I love it. And it's got a pocket in the front, right here. Easy access. And then it's got a pocket here. So many pockets. And then you can put your credit cards, got little credit card spaces right there. And then kind of a big section in the middle with another pocket. And then, I think that's it. Oh, nope. And then it has, these are like all the go now. It has another little pocket you can put your cell phone in, your passport, little wallet, you know, whatever. So I love this. And I think I've seen more women wearing them. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. But, uh, you know, you can wear it however you want. I think I would like it kind of up close to my body. So cute, right? So cute. So, got this. Y'all, I was blown away, blown away by all of this. So, then the last thing, and I have to say my favorite, my absolutely favorite, favorite bag. I think it might, it might rival the, you know, my favorite bag that I've ever had, Jeannie, I'm not even kidding you, is this gorgeous, gorgeous computer bag. Look at this, you all. I could definitely use this as a as a uh, carry on for my travels, uh, but this is absolutely stunning, well made, beautifully made. Uh, it came with it's with a long strap. You could carry it like this, and I can. It does go on my shoulder, like that, or you can hook the longer strap on it and carry it as a shoulder. You know, as you know, just a one shoulder bag or probably a crossbody if you wanted to put it across your body. It does adjust big time. It adjusts big time, so you could. Whoa. So you could, and then this would go on your shoulder, obviously. It's a beautiful brown. Look at that inside. It has a place for your computer on this side, padded and Velcroed for your computer. Then it has another pocket like in the front of that. Again, if you had an i, a computer and an iPad, I guess, or a tablet of some sort. And then on the other side, you have uh, two more pockets on either side and then pen pockets and then a zipper up here as well. Then you can see the pocket for your cell phone on the back and it is Stunning, isn't that absolutely stunning? And this is from Love Love Lock, I think, and it came with bags. Love Vuk, Love Vuk. Look at that. This also came bags. with a beautiful key ring and a cosmetic bag. Do y'all believe this? Oh my word, Jeannie! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is lovely, just lovely. I always take a cosmetic bag on my travels. Always, always, always. It is stunning, I love it. Tissues, extra makeup, you know, 
extra lipstick, extra hand sanitizer, uh, you know, oh, tweezers, all the stuff that you go for that you need and you don't have when you go in your purse, go in here. And this fits beautifully in here. So I think I'm going to try to take this on our next trip, Jeannie, as my carry on. It is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A million times over. I am not deserving of this. I'm absolutely not deserving of this, but I sure appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I just have one more thing that I eyed on one of my dad's shelves and um, he ended up sending home for me. I have no idea where this came from, other than I know that one of my mom's uncles, so he would have been my great uncle, uh, was from Germany and he would always, when he came to visit, he would always bring beautiful things for my grandmother. And I do believe that is what, so it says Luxembourg. So I would assume that's where this came from. I really don't know though. My mom was not a thrifter. She was not a person to go even shop for a lot of home decor items and stuff. So, I mean, our home was always very prettily decorated, but that was not her focus. She was a teacher, you know, like like she did not decorate like I decorate. Her ha Our house was very, always prettily decorated and clean as a whistle and all of that, but it's not like my mom would go out searching for something like this, like I might, like with my milk glass or whatever. So I think this was my grandmother's. I think it was. And uh, my dad just happened to have it and decided not to get rid of it, thank goodness, because I will definitely use it. Isn't it pretty? I don't know where I'll put it or what I'll use it in, but you guys, I'm sure we'll see it moving forward. But I love it. So just that little picture. And again, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's it, y'all. Oh my goodness gracious, that was a lot, huh? I'm exhausted, my goodness. <laughs> but again, I didn't spend a ton of money on any of this stuff, but it was just things that I liked when I saw and not necessarily needed everything, but I decided to get it, you know? So uh, let's see what's coming up. Now, later on in the week, this, you'll probably see this, I would imagine Sunday at some point, Saturday or Sunday at some point. And then later on in the week, I'm going to put up that video where I changed clothes and we talk about mixing and matching outfits and I show you some examples of how I mix and match my outfits. So that'll be coming up later in the week and then that'll probably do it. I'll have two videos this week, this one and that one. And then um, if you have any questions, always feel free to, to leave them in the comments. Um, feel sure the next week we will put that wreath together if my deco mesh comes in and maybe the next time put the tray design together and maybe by that time it'll be warm enough that we can take the tablecloth off the table and set up that table out on our patio and put up that wreath out there or something. So maybe we'll do a couple things out there. So I don't know. We're just kind of chugging, chugging, chugging along. Normally I would be in the throes of my patriotic decor series right now. But as I told you guys, I have decided that I'm not going to be doing big series uh, for the remainder of this year, except for Christmas. I will probably bring you a few designs of the patriotic, just because we like to see it in our home. Uh, but I'm not going to do that whole series. My heart is just not in it right now. And I need to just concentrate on helping us heal, not just me, but Chris and Candace and Maverick and you know we've all been blown a huge hit you know and uh we all just need time we need quiet time so I will continue to bring you videos of whatever I can <laughs> though so but anyway uh please do take a moment to subscribe if you would I would really appreciate it and hit that notification bell and uh click like please and then and share share my video and then watch all the way to the end also joe over there joe sink you uh with joe life with joe and marianne the youtube channel thank you so much for shouting me out the other day i very much appreciate it oh my goodness i was so touched so let me shout you out back and uh return the the goodness to you and you guys if you have not seen joe and marianne yet please go and check 
them out. Joe does the most beautiful decorating and he's always got something going on and something interesting to say. And he is so well-spoken. Both of them are. And they share their travels sometimes. They share their home decor. Marianne cooks for you sometimes. And it is a wonderful, very welcoming channel. I love you guys so much, Joe, both of you guys. And yes, I believe that we are old friends. Definitely. We've all, both been on YouTube for quite a while now. And I, I do consider you guys very dear, dear friends. Thank you so much for that shout out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really appreciate it when you take the time out to shout. People take the time out to shout me out. I appreciate that very, very much. And it does help our channels. You know, uh, you know, I'm always talking about Liz. Not that she needs any help with growing her channel. Goodness knows her channel is growing like leaps and bounds. And she does beautiful work over there. Liz at Traditions by the Seasons. And, you know, so many others that I could sit here and talk about, you guys. But we're I'm running out of time here. So I'm going to hush. But... There were, those two are my all-time favorites. Uh, also, Kim over there at Sweet Daisy Creations and uh, uh, A Charming Abode is one of my favorites. And Joe, you got me on a roll here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hush right now. But there are there are so many kind, wonderful people out there. So, but anyway, all right, you guys, I'm gonna hush and say my final words and say thank you all so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.